Hage Gengob led Namibia both as president and two-time prime minister. Before his presidential election, Gengob was prime minister from 1990, when Namibia gained independence from South Africa, until 2002. And he became the country's longest-serving prime minister when he again took office between 2012 and 2015. Gengob was born in 1941 and began a teaching career 20 years later. In the 1970s, Gengob left his homeland to work with the United Nations while rising within the ranks of the independence movement, the Southwest Africa People's Organization or SWAPO. Following his return home after almost three decades, he along with others spearheaded an election campaign that brought SWAPO to power. Much of Gengob's work as president focused on African organizations, conflict resolution and good governance across the continent. But his reputation was tainted by one of the country's worst corruption scandals, known as fish rot. Gengob was accused in 2021 of instructing a government official to divert funds from a state-run fishing company to bribe attendees at the 2017 SWAPO Electoral Congress to vote for him. He denied the allegations. All of these efforts are driven by a clear national political will of zero tolerance towards corruption. Under Gengob's leadership, his party lost its two-thirds majority in the 2019 election. While SWAPO remains Namibia's largest party, its popularity waned due to voter anger over rising unemployment and the corruption scandal. In 2014, Gengob revealed he had survived prostate cancer. Ten years later, a regular medical checkup revealed another cancer diagnosis. But his health deteriorated rapidly following treatment in the United States and later at home. Gengob is survived by his wife, Monica Kalondo, and three children from previous marriages. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.